you're curious about the third eye and I'm here to fill you in. Let's get it. What's up guys, my name is Savannah. I teach modern hippies how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle through mindfulness and science. Today, like I said, we are talking about the third eye. Before we dive right in, if you struggle with anxiety, since you're at home a bunch now for quarantine, consider having a hashtag self-care moment and signing up for my free masterclass for anxiety. Go sign up, it's free, link down below. So let's start in with the big one, the pineal gland. The pineal gland is a small P-shaped gland in the brain and its function is not fully understood by doctors or scientists yet. It's said to produce DMT, which is dimethyltryptamine, a very powerful psychedelic compound when you're born and when you die. So like that experience of your life flashing before your eyes when you die is DMT. So in Ayurveda, which is an ancient system of medicine from like 5,000 years ago, India, the nerve clusters and major endocrine glands in the body or hormonal glands were understood in a system of chakras, which is like an energy point. So our rudimentary understanding of the hormonal system, which is of course super important to the body because it keeps everything in check, keeps everything homeostasis-like, balanced, and you'll see that all of the major glands correspond with the seven main chakras down the midline of the body. The pineal gland, which is here in the brain, or the third eye, are said to be like the same thing. So you have the pineal gland, the third eye, kind of used interchangeably. Um, the pineal gland is regarded in a lot of religions and practices, especially Hinduism, as being the third eye. And it's said that developing the third eye is the doorway to all things psychic, like telepathy, clairvoyance, lucid dreaming, astral projection. It's also said that it is the quiet space within where we can touch God. Aw, what a cute quote. So let's talk about how to open, how to know if it's open. Comment below if that's something that you're interested in. If you have any specific questions, I will get to them one by one. But let's just talk in general right now. How to know if your third eye is open. You see our reality the maya some call it for what it is okay it's no longer something that you just sense with your five human senses it's something that you can feel beyond that that sixth sense and that sixth sense is your intuition it's that sense of otherness where like you just have a feeling you know your third eye is open if you're aware that there is more to the universe than we are able to sense with our five human senses more than we are able to grasp or understand. You have that sense of wonder and belief in that wonder awakened within you and you see maybe like the big picture. That's what I'm trying to say. Your third eye is open if you are seeing the big picture for what it is in truth. If you are looking at the bigger picture, if you're able to tap into that intuition, that knowing, that sense of being led by something that's greater than what is immediately apparent. I would say it's safe to say your third eye is open or it is opening. Other ways to know that your third eye is open, you will have increased foresight, you'll be prone to light sensitivity, you'll feel gradual and continual change in your life, you might have increased headaches, and at times you might feel a dull sensation of pressure between the eyebrows. I'm about to show a playing of my third eyeball for you guys, Comment if you feel something, if you feel something here, okay? A lot of people do. Like, there have been hundreds of thousands of people that have felt something on TikTok that have commented like, whoa, I felt that. So let me know if you feel something. Something else that I wanted to touch on today is the third eye being mentioned in the Bible by Jesus of Nazareth. Like, yeah, the Jesus, Jesus Christ. And I just really wanted to get into this because there are so many people who are very, very, very into their one religion. And I respect that totally. If your third eye is open or if you want to open it, if it is opening, you will start to realize that God is so much bigger than any one religion. There's this verse, Matthew 6, 22 through 23. So here Jesus says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, one, like, you know, one eye, that third eye, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, 
thy whole body shall be full of darkness. The biggest thing is that Jesus preaches is that we love God and love others. That's it. Like everything else is kind of like details. I think that in order to really do that and see things that way and be kind to our brothers and be forgiving to those that are terrible to us, we have to have that third eye open. We have to have the awareness that we are all part of the same system and by loving others, we are loving ourselves. I think that that's something you can only really fully grasp in your core when your third eye is open. Next week, I am talking about anxiety. I'm getting into my course. I want to talk about it. I want to make a whole video about it because I believe it is something so profound and amazing. And I want to talk about some of like the shortcomings that I've had in creating it and putting it out there in the world and just like a little bit, of, open up a little bit about the personal struggle there, like feeling worthy, feeling confident enough to put my work out there to say that I am someone who could help others. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big like and if you want to learn more about how to live a more holistically healthy lifestyle, start by watching one of these two videos right here. Again, thank you for watching. Have a blissful day. Stay safe and I love you.